giving all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles, bishops, and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us the 100% truth according to the Bible, and who rule well. And Shalom to all you Akiyam and you Akwath, those of the hopeful elect that are seeking for salvation. Who shall separate us from, from the love of Hamashiach? When you read Sirach 2 and 1, this is the Good News Translation. It says, My child, if you are going to serve the Lord, be prepared for times when you will be put to test. I'm going to read that again. Sirach 2 and 1, the GNT, the Good News Translation. My child. Right, speaking to the believers, those of us of the hopeful elect who believe in Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. If you are going to serve the Lord, be prepared, get your mind right, for times when you will be put to the test. We all have our testimonies. We all have uh, different experiences that we have all gone through. Right? But just remember, uh, the Lord's not going to put us through anything that we cannot handle fact let me bring that out let me see i think it's first or second corinthians it might be second corinthians the lord is not going to put us through any type of test that we can't handle but we will undergo trials and tribulation this is not uh going to be a, a easy road but we have the instructions to pass the test one being prayer and faith uh let's see um Let me see. Uh, there we go. Uh, nope, that's not it. There we go. First Corinthians ten and thirteen. It says, "There have no temptation taken you." But such as is common to man. But Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will the temptation also make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it. When you go into the word temptation, it says an experiment, an attempt, trial, proving. All right. This is uh, all uh, 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 an experience, a trial that we're all facing. And it's not just, uh, you know, um, you being tempted by uh, lust for a woman who is uh, married. No, that is a type of experience or trial of our faith. But, you know, uh, a test of our faith. Are you going to continue to keep fighting a good fight of faith when, you know, the world is persecuting you? You know, or you experience a, a, a transition in a family in a family from someone you was close to. Are you going to keep pushing your woman leave you? All right. Or your money get low. Whatever you go through. Are we going to keep fighting a good fight of faith? These are different types of uh, temptations. You know, you got vehicle issues. Are you going to go out there and push and still do the work? Or are you been uh corrected or rebuked for innocently going off right are you going to get in your emotions are you going to keep fighting these are some of the examples uh, that we're going to have to go through right but the lord is not going to put us through any experience that we are not able to bear remember he created us he built us he he crafted us and um, made us who we are so He's not uh, unjust to put us through these experiences that we're not able to bear. And prayer is so important to prepare for these times. You know? So now going back to Sirach 2 and 1, it says, My child, if you're going to serve the Lord, be prepared for times when you will be put to test. One of the ways to be prepared is to seek counsel from men who have gone through experiences. Not only that, which is very important because the scriptures say when thou make war, uh, consider counsel, roughly paraphrasing, and as well as prayer. 
All right. We have the names and the names are so important. Without these names, we don't get salvation. We don't get our prayers answered. We don't get comfort, which is wisdom. Now, these scriptures are, are comfort and which we believe in. We have the names and we should be praying to those names as well uh, to get to get that guidance. Right. As we're preparing for the times that we'll all be put to test. And ultimately, the point of the lesson, which is not going to be a long lesson, just want to bring out some points. Because I myself have, have, have been catching hell uh, on my level, you know, for, for what I've been experiencing recently. Uh, but I'm blessed to be able to continue to fight the good fight of faith and have the names and have my faith intact. Lord willing, I endure, as well as all you sincere Akiyam and you Akwath that are experiencing your hell, right? But we count it all uh, a blessing. We count it all joy. All right, when we were brought to a low estate, because we know this is the part of this is the condition of the battle. Romans eight and thirty five says, "Who will separate us from the love of Hamashiach? Shall tribulation, right, or distress? You stressed out. You know, you catch yourself falling into that deep depression state, right? Is that going to separate us from Yahweh Shai Hamashiach?" Or persecution when we're persecuted for a righteousness sake right uh, some of us are gonna be thrown in prison um, we're gonna be lied on people are gonna be uh, looking to seek our lives for believing in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is that gonna separate us it says or famine when there is a, a, a lack or a shortage or limited access to food and water resources are you going to still believe in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai? Because some of us are going to be faced with these experiences. Different experiences are right, for different brothers and sisters. It says, or nakedness, or peril, or sword. Right? These are different types of plagues. Is that going to separate us from the Lord? This is, this is a question. Right? At verse 36, as it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Verse 37, nay, in all these things we are more, right? We are more than conquerors through him that loved us. Right? We're more than conquerors. A conqueror gets victory over, you know, uh somewhat. Matter of fact, let's go into the word conquerors. It says, uh, to be more than a conqueror, to gain a, sur a surpassing victory, to gain a decisive victory. All right. Now a conqueror says a person who conquers a place or people, a vanquisher. So we're more than we're more than a conqueror. All right. We're more than that. As the scriptures say, I'm going to read this in the NLT. No, despite all these things overwhelmingly. Overwhelming victory is ours through Hamashiach, who loved us. Okay. Verse 38, going back to KJV. For I am persuaded that neither death, no, the, the, the fact of transition, right? We going on a highways and byways, making our bodies live and sacrifice through the power and spirit of Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai. We know each and every week that we go out there, we know that. It's nothing for uh, the Lord to allow a, this devil to be uh, put a sharpshooter up on one of those buildings to take us out or, you know, but but we understand what we're up against. But is that going to stop us from going out there on the highways and byways? Nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers. And we're going up a, 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 a mega power, man, who the Lord gave power to to rule. All right, who who hates our guts, who who wants to see us off the streets, because we're going against uh, wickedness in high places. Okay, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, verse thirty nine, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, which is in Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, our Lord. We got to keep this mindset. And I'm speaking to myself first and foremost. No matter what we face. There's a lot of uh, things going on amongst Israel. The Lord said he's going to start at his house. He's cleaning the house, exposing 
so-called brothers, all right, men don't they don't want to be in order, men that are impatient, men that are as emotional as fuck with that Carl Thomas spirit, you know. The Lord's making major moves in these times. And it's important for us to continue to fight the good fight of faith. Regardless of the changes that are going on, we got to adjust, spiritually adjust to these things and keep it pushing. There's only really one goal that we're trying to accomplish, and that is uh, the kingdom. Let me bring out a scripture here. You know, and everything else falls secondary. St. Matthew 6 and 33 says, But seek ye first the kingdom of Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, and his righteousness, and all things shall be added unto you. When you seek the kingdom first, it covers it covers the multitude of everything else, right? Waking up every day, the first thing on our mind is, what can I do to please the Lord? You know, you send up prayers. You know, speaking something that uh, the Lord has been having me do as a daily regiment for a while, a long time. Watch videos. Do studying when you can. Show brotherly love and charity. You know, I, all of our numbers are going to be called to continue to perform charity. Right. So are we seeking the kingdom first, which is going to cover a multitude of things? It's going to really show your character. It's going to really keep you disciplined, keep you fearing the Lord, keeping that close relationship. Right. And this is more of an open forum. But ultimately, overall, you know, we shouldn't allow in any of these things. If we truly are faithful as we hope to be. Nothing should separate us from the Lord. I'm going to close out on um, Acts, I think it's 14. And one of my favorites, Acts 14 and 22. It says, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith. Right. And that we must through much tribulation. Right. Enter into the kingdom of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Knowing that, will this tribulation separate us from the love of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach? No. And Lord willing, we continue to fight all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai.